and you want to move in the technical side or in the functional side? Uh, I was doing a little research and what I found out that there are more jobs in uh, technical area. Uh, yeah, because uh, most of the like functional people are uh, using the super users and uh, their own people for a while, but still there are uh, there are jobs for the technical side. So I would rather go for that. Good identification. And coming to the people soft in the US market, they will look into they will look for technical. Okay. That means a technical person having knowledge on functionality. Okay. That means if you are good in the technical side, but they are expecting something functional from you, functional side from you. Okay. That means if you are saying to them, after completing this course, you will prepare some resume like this. Yes, I worked in the Microsoft Excelness from last five to six years. Like that, you will prepare your resume. Then they will ask some questions like. This. In which of all the modules you work in your uh -huh. That means on the payroll side you worked, or on the benefit side you worked, or on the administration side you worked. Uh -huh. Why do they will ask a question? Why? Because you are saying yes, I got, I have good experience in the function. Sorry, the people uh -huh. I did number of projects. I involved in number of projects. I involved in number of implementations. You will say like that. But they will ask a question and it's great. Then you can explain the benefits module in the people of how it will work. You can explain the payroll concept, how the payroll process will run like that. That means in the US job market. In considering I'm considering about the US job market, I'm explaining this. Uh -huh. Now coming to this course session, here in this course we will cover technical in-depth concepts from basics to in-depth. And in the functional side, I will give you one overview. That means what are all the functionalities, how the data flow will be in the journals. Next, to complete all these training sessions, minimum 30 working sessions are required. Okay. 30 working sessions means daily one hour. It's mandatory to complete the training. And depends on your frequency and your understanding. Okay. How how, how fast you are following me, how far you are getting. Okay. And in this timing, I will give you assignments also. Okay. It will helpful for you, not for me. Once you did the assignments, yes, yes, this candidate is enough cap have enough capability to complete sorry, to compete with other assignments and advanced concepts. Okay. I can understand. And one more thing. Coming to the people's of basic explanation, yes, by looking this PPT, you can understand, yes, it's an ERP. As well as a SAP, it's an ERP. The normal ERP concept, what's the purpose of ERP? It will integrate all the sources in the organization. Mm -hmm. That means you can integrate with HR with finance, HR with CRM, HR with line, and everything you can integrate. That means it will make your data flow automatic. By using this ERP, the main functionality you will do, the main purpose is you will automate the activities. But there is uh, no need of manual, there is no need of manual intervention. But, but PeopleSoft is only for the HR, right? Or the, it has a no, 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 don't think in that. PeopleSoft is supporting all other modules. HR it is providing the solutions, finance uh -huh. is providing the solutions. Everywhere. Oh, it's, it's like another SAP, it's like a uh, SAP, it means? Yes, yes, I will explain, I will explain. Let me complete. Okay. In the people's of it's a basic explanation about the people's of it's founded in 1987, presently thousand of companies that are using more than 4,700 organizations using okay. the people's of software. Now any ERP, coming to, I'm talking about the ERP, I'm not in the people's of any ERP, you will observe two types of technologies, functional and technical. Third okay. part will be there, that's DBA. Okay. We are not handling such servers inside of DBA, that's why we are abiding the concept in our in, even in your SAP also, you will observe two types of technologies. SAP ABAP. That means it's a technical concept in SAP. You will observe some other modules in SAP. SAP BI, SAP <coughs> PICO, SAP SD like that. Here also, number of functionalities are there. These are all the functional modules supported by people.
Okay, okay. So it's a complete package. Don't think in a way people soft is only for HR. Why? Because everyone know everyone will say people soft HR. Why? Because it's it seems number one in the side of HR. Okay. As like as SAP is number one in the side of material management modules. Production modules, SAP will be in the number one side. Coming to productive financials, you say yeah, it will be it is number one in the side of finance. But some of the clients are using even people's of finance. Some of the clients are using people's of CRM. Coming to the CRM, everyone will know about the civil CRM. It has that much of popularity. Civil. Civil is a concept. Already Oracle bought all these technologies. Oracle bought civil, Oracle bought people's Some rumors will be there. some rumors are there in the outside market. Oracle will banish all the technologies. And it will be replaced by fusion, but it is not possible. And these are all the functional modules about the name of the HCM, yes, human capital management. That means an activity is a challenge. Human resources management system. In nowadays, in the present advanced versions, we are calling it HCM, HCM, human capital management. FCM, financial and supply chain management. You know, land management. Relationship management, performance management, campus solutions. Number of universities are using campus solutions in the US. A lot of universities, a lot of organizations, and the portal solutions. These are all the modules of software for the use. Now, if you learn the technical, what is the beauty of the technical? If you learn the technical, yes, you are a capable person to work on any of the modules. If you are learning only HCM functionality, Yes, there is a boundary. You can work only in the human resource management system. There is no chance to work on finance. But if you are the technical back, the functionality will differ, but the back end technical development is common for all modules. That's why you can find number of jobs in the business of technical side. I think you know something about the HR activities, right? Recruiting is an HR activity. Yes. Maintaining the employee data is a HR activity. Applying the benefits, adding the benefits, plans, benefit uh -huh. groups, everything, and running the payroll, maintaining the pension system, maintaining the stock, and maintaining the employee self-service requests and managerial activities, maintaining the timesheets. That means you can monitor everything in the HR process. Then. Yes, you are a good person to learn people's work, HR must technical. Why? Because you know something about the HR module, HR activity. Then, coming to the people's work, people's work technical part, these five topics are core development tools. Application design, application engine, component interface, SPI and people work. Apart from this, number of other tools are there application packages, XML publisher, PS query. Number of tools are there. But these five tools are the core development tools. We will use very regularly in our practice. So All other tools, tools also we will use. Depends on the requirement. Okay. Coming to the session part, first we will start with the application designer. Once we completed the application designer, we will jump on the people code. Once the people code is